Well, you, you point out in the book, I forget where um, I've got the quote someplace, but um, that, you know, something to the effect that, the, you know, sports was always a kind of a male thing and the, and the women did the religion. Right. <laughs> and, right. and, right. And, you know, I don't know. And, and we seem to have been, you know, gone even further in that direction now where, you know, the men are, you know, I don't want to be facetious here, but they're doing open carry at some rally in Texas carrying a, a semi-automatic weapon. And, you know, there's still some women somewhere at a prayer meeting, but the men have moved on. They're just totally into the MAGA white Christian nationalist thing now, much more than... Um, I would have imagined possible 40 years ago when we were in the movement. I, I think that's right. And that circles back to the, the term you mentioned earlier, muscular Christianity. I mean, that was the impetus for muscular Christianity back in the 19th century, is that these uh, these churchmen, particularly in, in England, uh, were looking out into their congregations and seeing overwhelming numbers of, of women more than men. And so they devised this whole notion of, that came to be called muscular Christianity, where you would try to associate the Christian faith with athletic uh, endeavors and 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 militarism, both athleticism and militarism. And as you know, that comes right from the New Testament, from Paul. Yeah. Paul talks about putting on the full armor of God, sure. finishing the race, you know, uh, running the course, and so forth. So those are our New Testament metaphors, and mm -hmm. that that spawned this movement that also uh, fed. Organizations like Salvation Army, Militarism, mm -hmm. and in particular the YMCA, uh, which is, um, of course, associated with athleticism. Mm -hmm.